Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect. Well, this might be one of the later videos that I record because I'm going on holiday and uh, I won't be able to record Mass Effect for quite a while until September. But I think I'll still pre record several of the Mass Effect videos and I will. Uh, upload them and publish them one by one, so uh, you will probably see like a week's worth of content some more. But uh, yeah, let's continue what we were doing, which was uh, going to Six Theta and reading about what we can find there now that we have it unlocked. Right there. So we have Asheron. Well, that's uh, certainly quite related to Unreal 2. And Erebus. Well, it looks like the uh, mass relay is in Asheron, so let's go to that biological planet again. So that this time it's actually a star system. The star is Asheron, not the planet. Farthoral. Ooh. A modest terrestrial planet, Farthoral has a thin atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and chlorine. The crust is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of nickel. The terrain is extremely rough, a patchwork of craggy, overlapping craters dating back to the formation of the solar system. Farthoral is tightly locked to the star Asheron. The day side has never been fully mapped. Why would they not map the day side and not the other side? Is it a very uh, bright star or something? Okay, okay size. Uh, of course, close to the star. Quickly rotating. Actually, halfway decent atmosphere. And very hot. Okay, gravity. Altai. Altai is an exceptional form of planet called the Rosh world. But simply, it is one half of a pair of small and unusually dense terrestrial worlds, Altai and Ontai, that orbit each other so closely they effectively share a single atmosphere. This does not mean that one could fly from one to the other, but both have identical atmospheres, and dust from one often can be found on the other. Both worlds share an atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. The surface is warm, and mainly composed of silica dust and dark basaltic rocks. There are extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives. Tidal effects from Ontai create constant heavy wind. Well, we can land, but we don't have any reasons to. Carbonaceous asteroid. Dark asteroid of mixed carbonaceous materials. This asteroid shows sign of impacts by weapons fire. During the sin he recovered, he recovered the signs of battle while scanning an asteroid field in the Asheron system. Small recon and recovery team led by navigator Presley was able to determine that many of the ships were marked with the Epirus colony in Sinia. Which ships? I guess the Turian ships that are just floating there? Near the asteroid? Hmm. Well, let's see, is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Grossalgan. An enigmatic rock and ice planet, Grossalgan has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is composed of frozen water and chlorine. For period 41.5 Earth years. Radius is decent. Uh, pressure is halfway decent also. Quite cold, low gravity. Light metal survey. Scans from planet Grosselgan have revealed a large deposit of magnesium. 
wonder how far are we in the quest for collecting everything. Imonea. Though exceptionally large for a terrestrial world, Imonea is composed of water ice with a core of various carbonaceous compounds. It has a density only half that of Earth, and an atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. The surface is composed of surprisingly pure water ice with a high albedo. So basically it's white. <laughs> Far away. It's long to travel all around. It's quite large. Uh, yeah, long day length. Again, quite good pressure, all things considered, and quite cold and quite good gravity too. Hmm. And still nothing here. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's not battle protein data discs, huh? Are we actually done with the Trinicinius? Um Collection complete. You found all the Turin emblems. Yes. So we probably got a lot of experience from that. Okay, yeah, cool. And let's land on that uh, planet for no real reason, but hey. Uh, not this planet. Might as well take some shore leave on this planet, because it sounds quite exotic with two planets circling around so close that they share the atmosphere. So let's just go on a survey mission. Even without uh, needing to worry about some sort of uh, larger objective, I guess. How are how far are we from the other quests, then? Ooh, that is dark, and that is quite a large planet, indeed. So, how far are we? Um, so, writings, we need three, signs of battle, we need quite a lot. Didis, we need only two, and minerals. Um. Yeah, still quite a few heavy metals. But we're good with pretty much everything else. So here we have a listening post. Okay. Well, let's listen to a listening post. And yeah, just go forward. Eventually we'll arrive there. But this is also flat enough to be some sort of a thresher mall nest thing. Oh, look at that. I see you out there. Mining deposits. You're not going to hide from me. You can't run, and you can't hide. Although you can certainly try to hide. Is it up there? That would be a bit strange. No, it's right here. Alright, it's a Samarium deposit. Rare element survey. We have successfully surveyed a deposit of Samarium. Alright, uh, so from here, yes, we do just go that way. So all of the mountains are at the very edge of the place. So that means uh, finding deposits is going to be quite easy. Although that still doesn't uh, tell us if it's going to be two deposits or three deposits. Maybe two since it's that easy? I don't know. So far, this is uh, quite empty. Any uh, hideous beasts around here? Nope, nothing so far. And there's a question mark. 
Uh, we're not going to a question mark, are we? I think we're going to an exclamation point. Looks like there's more than one thing here. Oh yeah, there's a crashed uh, probe. And there seem to be some enemies around. So much for going on a shore leave, sheesh. A sorry capsule. Well, I think we will find some writings here. Yep, Matriarch's writings recovered. This down satellite had one of Matriarch Dilanaga's writings stored in its payload. Whether it was placed before or after the crash is uncertain. Why'd you place... Why would you place uh, writings inside a crashed probe after it crashes? That makes absolutely no sense to me. Also, we certainly can hear the Rachni. And yeah, I'm going forward, but I'm not there yet. But, Master Adrenaline Burst. Further reduces recharge time, so Adrenaline Burst can be used more often. Yes, this will be very useful for Pinnacle Station. More left. And damping. Yes, master damping. Further increases the radius and strength of damping. Excellent. Now let's see what is up with this. More severely uh, sounds. What? That doesn't look like enemies? So that's clearly indicated as enemies. Oh! Rachni! Okay, that's why we're hearing Rachni. Interesting, we get to take on Rachni and the Mako. So it's, uh, it's actually very similar to Rampant, I think. Uh, oh. no, that was the other map. Uh, the other map. Sirocco, yeah. It's very similar to Sirocco, in principle. But perimeter secure. I don't think so, no. busted quite a bit. But yeah, so what is going on here? I now get why we unlocked this after Novaria, because we couldn't have met the Rachni before we freed the Queen, I guess. So what is going on? Why, uh, why are there Rachni here? Do they have any good reason for being here and for attacking us? Or are they just being mean and uh, the queen was lying to us all along? What do we see here? Science station. So it's some sort of a listening post, which I don't know what it is. 
It says open journal, but we don't even have any assignment for this place at all. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, someone's... Down. Okay. Someone else is down. Iron lock, weapon locker. Ooh, yes. Ooh, another Armageddon. Katana and Storm. And another hard decryption, hardened weapons locker. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, I was so close. Oh, no, not making it. Pff, really a banshee? Thunder and a hurricane. Mmm, probably not really worth the only gel, but whatever. Uh, right, right. Ready. So, what is going on in the science station? I'm guessing Rachni. Just an educated guess. That's Rachni. It's also, uh... Right, Which are easy to deal with. And the big ones are not that tough either. Because they're not very mobile. We have a soldier. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hurt, pain, misery. There we go. And there goes that one. Take care of with uh, with fire based weaponry. And that was it, really. We're in the middle of a fight. No, we're not. Right behind you, Shepard. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, still have some. Healing I can do. Just in case this goes two. No, this goes one. Actually, aren't our maximum at eight? So maybe I just clicked uh, open kind of soonish. So why is there a charred corpse here? There's nothing to be charred here. In fact, these are cryo containers or something. Fun rounds and toxin rounds. Uh, not something we really need. And there's nothing here. Okay. So this post was overrun by the Rachni. Why? Can we get some information from within here? I can certainly get Rachni pods, quite like in now. Except these don't seem to be actually spawning Rachni. At least not right now. But let's uh, be careful anyway. Oh, Unity Amp and Solaris Amp. A functioning object with a fusion explosive. Not a high explosive, though. And some storage lockers. We may have saved the Queen, but uh, that doesn't mean we... Uh, don't want to self-defend against those guys who are for some reason attacking us, even though we technically didn't do anything wrong to them. Alright, is there anything here? No, okay. 
So let's just find out what this is all about. Emergency FTL calm. Best. That worked. Okay. Functioning object, polonium ions. That's still quite a few things, so I think I will be fine for quite a while still. So there's an emergency FTL column and the terminal. Interesting. And on the map, I don't have anything at all. Okay, well, how about the terminal? Commander, you see things? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Rachni worked fast. Supply run? So they received a supply of Rachni? What? Supply ship? Where'd that supply ship come from? I will need a moment. This base is supplied by drone freighters, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots, to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have. This one came from Argos Row. Argos Row cluster? So someone is shipping Rachni? Or something? And it's like an automated system for transport. That's interesting. <laughs> Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Very well, Shepard. Rachni infestation on Altai seems to be the result of a supply drop from Argos Row. The logs downloaded from the freighter show should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. Interesting. Argos Row. And emergency safety outcome. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Well, hopefully someone made it. Clearly not everyone did. But why Rachni, and why are they being evil? Hmm. The journal says, Listening Post Alpha. Listening Post Alpha in the Erebus system is reportedly being attacked by unidentified life forms and is requesting assistance. With the Erebus system in the Styx Theta cluster. Investigate Listening Post Alpha on the planet Nepmos. Okay, so it's another Listening Post in the same system, and not this one. So, more of the same there? Question mark? Hmm. Probably. So, let's just go there and see what we can find. So, this is a bit of an investigation quest, looks like. Just to see what is going on around here. Are there listening posts? What are these listening posts even listening to anyway? And why are there rectile all around? And well, there is an SR capsule, but uh, we haven't found anything else yet. So how about we go through there? We go around the mountains over here. Oh, okay, through here. Maybe find a uh, fresh marsh or something. Gotta keep an eye on the radar. There's definitely at least one uh, mining place on this planet. I intend to find it. Oh, this looks like a prime spot for a fresh Or not. Okay, we'll just go that way. Yeah, I don't want to climb this mountain. Wow. That is quite a mountain.
That is also quite enough. It looks a bit like Mordor or something. Oh, 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 I'm seeing something. Seeing quite a lot of something. More Sirocco. Okay. What? Why can't you use biotics? That's rude. So they're like extra heavy retinae. Interesting. And poorly. Because they go right through the shields, huh? Yeah, interesting. They can use biotics, they can go right through shields. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Where am I? Huh, okay. All the way there. So I'm going this way, I think. Hmm. I don't recall ever seeing that spot either. So that's an interesting challenge, yeah. So essentially ramming into enemies in this case is not a good idea. Instead, I want to lure them out one by one, and then just take them out. Cautiously. How about you come out? I get money for doing that. That's interesting. Is there a bounty on Rachni or something? And there's the big one, Brood Warrior. Tank weapon. So that's why they're not being affected. Hmm. Okay, well, we got this problem cleared. But still, where is the mining deposit? I'm thinking that there's probably only one mining deposit since there were two unmarked things on the map. And I don't want to go through here, and so I want to go through there. But 
how come? Yeah, like they said, Rakhni work fast. They managed to like create this whole breeding environment for themselves on the planet already, even though the shipment like kind of just arrived. Hmm. I still cannot believe that there are no Thresher models here. Looks like a perfect place for them. I'm not seeing anything on the radar. Oh, oh, what? Another unmarked thing? And there still is going to be another ore deposit somewhere. Huh. Another crash probe. Weight of coating and kinetic stabilizer. It's a bit unfortunate that there is no uh, heat sink at this level, looks like. Really use some. But there might be extra heat sinks of higher level. I don't recall when those items start to show up. And I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. There might still be something there or something. But I kind of covered the whole place. I would have expected to see something at some point somewhere. If the mining deposit isn't there, then where is it? Oops. Go back. Go back. Go even more back. Let's just go around the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know where it is. I think I'll... Uh, just go around the place looking for it. In my own time then. And, uh, yeah. And next time we will go explore the other system in the same... cluster. So yes, yeah, see you all next time in that case. Later.